Hi all. So let's do some questions on binary operations or closure property. Let's see this question. Let S be the set of positive integers. So this is your base set. Your set is set. Okay, set of positive integers. If a comma b are in set S, which of the following is a binary operation? Remember, I told you that binary operation that basically means closure. Okay, so binary operation means it will apply on two elements. Okay, so uh, and also it must be closed means if you apply, apply this binary operation on elements of this set, then the result also must be in this set. Okay, so now let's see is this a binary operation? This is not a binary operation because your base set is set of positive integers. Now if you take these two numbers, for example, if you take a equal to 2, b equal to, uh, if you take a equal to 2 and b equal to 3, then you can clearly see that this a star b that is basically 2 by 3 and this is not, this is not a positive integer so this does not belong to our base set so i can say this is not a binary operation because binary operation must be closed also so binary operation is same as closure property so this question is asking which of which of these operation will be closed okay will be closed now let's see this this is also not a binary operation why because this is if you take these value like for example if i take a equal to 1 and if i take b equal to 2 Remember, every value that you you take that must come from the base set. Your base set is set of positive integers. So this operation you will apply on set of positive integers means. OK, so these positive integers you are taking. And now if I apply this operation a star b, what is this operation? This is a minus 2b. OK, so that is basically 1 minus 2 multiplied by 2. And that is that is minus 3. And this does not belong to our set of positive integers. So this is also not closed. So this operation is also not closed. Okay, let's see this one. This is closed because if you take any, if you take any two positive integers, if you take any two natural number, positive integer means natural number. So if you take any two natural number, then a cube is also natural number. Okay, and if a cube is natural number, then a cube plus b that is also natural number. So this is the idea. So I can say this this operation, this is binary operation. Okay, this is a binary operation. And what about this? A star b is equal to ln a plus b. What is this ln? This is natural log. So this is basically log base E. Okay. So this is the idea. So ln means natural logarithm. So this is basically logarithm base E. Now this is also not a, this is also not a uh, uh, binary operation because if you take this, this, for example, if you take a equal to one, b equal to, uh, if you take, so if you take a equal to one, b equal to two, then, uh, okay, maybe a equal to one, b equal to one, then what will be a star b? a star b will be natural log of 1 plus 1 means that is natural log of 2 and this is 0 0.693 and you can notice this is not an integer this does not belong to our set of integer okay set of positive integer so i can say this is also not a binary operation so remember binary operation is basically closed operation closure property and binary operation both are the same things okay now this is the next question which of the following is a binary operation if s if a comma b are in s Okay, so for this first question, already this is given to you, set of negative numbers. This is your base set. In your base set, you have a set of negative numbers. Okay, so if you have a set of negative numbers, then can I say this operation is binary operation on set of negative numbers? This is not a binary operation. Why this is not a binary operation? Because, because if you take, for example, if you take uh, this, uh, for this A, I can say if you take A equal to uh, let me take a equal to minus 1 and if you take b equal to minus 2 then you can clearly see that you are taking elements from the base set remember you should take element from the base set okay in this option a the base set is set of negative numbers okay so you were, you should take elements from the base set so you should take negative numbers okay now for these numbers if i if i do a star b what is the a star b a star b will be ab plus b square and what is ab plus b square that is 2 plus 4 okay and that is 6 and you can notice this is not this is not in s this is this is the explanation of option a okay so i can say because remember your base set is set of negative numbers so you should take negative numbers okay if you take these two negative numbers then you can clearly see that this operation this operation the result will not be a negative number so i can say this is not closed okay so option a so this is not closed this is not a binary operation i can say this is not a binary operation on set of negative numbers but remember this is a binary operation on set of positive numbers so if you have like for example if you have set of natural number comma star 
and this star operation we have like this for example a b plus b square now this is a binary operation now this is closed so this is closed why because if you take any two natural number take any two natural number then their multiplication also will be natural number and square also will be natural number and their addition also will be natural number so that also will be natural number so i can say if you take any two natural number then this result if you apply this operation take any two natural number apply this operation this result also will be natural number so i can say this is a closed but if you have negative if you have negative numbers then for the negative numbers if you have set of negative numbers if this is your base set then this operation is not a binary operation because this is not closed what about option b option b is saying set of positive integers set of positive integers this is the base set then can i say option b is closed so option b that is also not a binary operation or i can say this is also not closed so this is also not a binary operation because if you take two elements from the base set your base set is set of positive integers so for example if you take a equal to 1 b equal to 2 then what will be a star b a star will b will be square root of 1 plus 2 that is square root of 3 and square root of 3 that is not a that is not a positive integer this is not a positive integer you can notice because your base set is a set of positive integer in your option b so option b is also not closed not closed means not binary operation closure property means binary operation binary operation means closure property so i can say this is not a binary operation what about option c option c is set of real numbers except zero okay so means set of non zero real number then can i say this is a binary operation can i say if you define this operation on set of non zero real number can i say this is a binary operation this is also not a binary operation because for example if you take a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 then what will happen then okay for this option c so let's check this option c so for this option c you have the base set is set of non zero real number so this is non zero real number means r star what is that that is from real number you remove the zero so this is non zero real numbers and you are defining this operation what is this operation this operation you are defining like a star b is equal to that is equal to a b minus a a b minus a so now you can clearly see that if i take a equal to 1 b equal to 1 then what will be a star b okay so a star b that will be 0 and you can notice this does not belong to r star your base set is r star your base set is set of non zero real number so this 0 does not be belong to set of non zero real number so i can say this is also not a binary operation option c this is also not closed closure property is not satisfied what about the next set of real numbers except 0 and this operation a star b equal to a square minus b square this is also not a binary operation this option d on set of real on set of non zero real number this is also not a binary operation because the same argument if you take a equal to 1 b equal to 1 then the result then you can notice 1 star 1 that will be 0 and that does not belong to set of non zero real number so this is also not a binary operation so i can say none of them is a binary operation here for this question okay none of them is binary operation let's move on let's see the next question so what about this a binary operation is given to you and this binary operation this binary operation delta is defined on set of real numbers and this is how it is defined a delta b is equal to a power b find the value of 3 delta minus 2 so what that will be so on set of real number you are defining this operation delta and you are saying that a delta b means if you take any two real number remember this a comma b they should come from the base set okay so from this base set if you take two numbers a comma b then a delta b that will be a power b okay so for example what is 3 delta 3 that will be 3 power 3 and that will be okay so that will be 27 so similarly for example now the question is asking what is 3 delta minus 2 3 delta minus 2 and that will be 3 power minus 2 and that will be 1 divided by 9 okay so this will be the answer so answer will be 1 divided by 9 okay so option c will be the answer okay so very simple because this new operation has been defined okay so this is the exponentiation operation basically okay so basically this exponentiation operation is defined on a set of real number let's see this question a binary operation is defined on set of real numbers so you have a set of real numbers on that you are defining this binary operation this binary operation you are defining like this x star y if you take any two real number okay if you take any two real number then x star y that is equal to x square minus y square plus x y and the question is asking what is square root of 3 okay star square, star square root of 2 okay so what that will be you can notice 
x x star y that is x square minus y square plus x y so this will be basically a square of root 3 a square of root 3 minus a square of root 2 plus a square of root 3 a square of root 2 a square of root 3 that is 3 minus a square of root 2 that is 2 plus a square root of 6 okay so that will be 1 plus a square root of 6 here the answer will be option a let's see this question which of the following mapping are binary operation Remember, I told you that binary operation is a function. This I told you in the last class. I told you what is a binary operation. Binary operation is like a function. Okay, is like a function. So if you have a set on that, if you define this binary operation, then this binary operation, what it will do? It is a function from S cross S to S. What it means? It means it will take two values of S from, okay, because this is a binary operation. So what it will do? It will take two this hash this will take two values from s and it will produce the result also will be in s so this is the definition of binary operation okay the result should be in s because binary operation by definition it should be closed binary operation is same as closure property okay so this is the definition of binary operation so binary operation is a function okay now let's see the question is asking which of the following function is binary operation on p means and p is the set of positive integers means p is the set of natural number so on the set of natural number, which of them is a binary operation? Okay, so let's see. So the base set is set of natural number. And now the question is asking which of them is a binary operation? The first one. Okay, the first one, the question is saying. So basically you are defining this binary operation alpha. This binary operation alpha you are defining. So let's see option A. Okay, let's see option 1. So what is option 1? So option 1 is saying that. If you have this alpha, this alpha is the binary operation on set of natural number. This is your set of natural number. So alpha basically it will take two natural number and it, it should produce another natural number. Okay, this should happen. If this happens, okay, whatever two natural number you take and it should produce another natural number. So basically means if this alpha is closed, if this is closure property, if this will satisfy closure property, then I can say alpha is a binary operation. Now let's see, can I say this is a binary operation? So here you are taking i comma j and you are giving i plus j. Yes, this is a binary operation. Yes, this is a binary operation. So alpha is taking i comma j and you are producing. Okay, you are producing i plus j. So definitely this is a binary operation because if you take any two natural number, if i comma j are natural number, then their addition also will be a natural number. So I can say this is definitely a binary operation. Okay, so I can say this first one. This is a binary operation. The next i comma j you are taking and the result is i divided by j this is not a binary operation okay because if you take 2 comma 3 then the result will not be a natural number the next i comma j you are taking two numbers i comma j and result is j yes this is a binary operation so if you see this fifth so you are taking i comma j you are taking two natural number i comma j they should come from the set of natural number because the base set is set of natural number now you, you can notice the base set Okay, the base set is set of positive integer means set of natural number. So the this this binary operation, what this is doing? This is doing that. This is taking two values i comma j and the result is a j. Okay, so definitely this result belongs to natural number because if you take any two values from the natural number, if you take any two values from the base set, the result is j and this j is also a natural number. So I can say this is also closure property. Okay, so I can say this is a binary operation. What about this second one? If you are you are taking i i comma j and the result is i minus j, this is not a binary operation because for example, if you take i equal to one, j equal to two, then the result will be minus minus one and this minus one is not a positive integer. Okay, what about this one? i comma j you are taking and the result is i plus j plus i square. Yes, this is a binary operation because if you take any two natural number i comma j, then i plus j plus i square that also will be a natural number. Okay, so I can say this alpha this. This alpha, this is also a binary operation on set of natural numbers. Okay, so these are some questions and in the next video we will solve, we will solve some more questions.